Well, shalom everyone. I want to challenge you on something today. You know, if you're feeling bad about yourself, I want to suggest to you that those, I want to strongly suggest to you that those feelings you're having were inspired by lies from the pit of hell. You see, when the enemy shoots thoughts into our mind, it's in the first person, not the third person. If it was in the third person, it would be so much easier to recognize that they're not our thoughts. But when we hear it as I, my, we think it's our thoughts. And thankfully, there are times when we really recognize these thoughts are not my thoughts. And so I want to uh, make reference to a writer. He passed away, I believe, I think his name was Fred Prince. I'm not sure. But my dear friend Rosalind lent me this book called How Faith Works, and I took it on a retreat. It's a fantastic book. And he explained that, you know, because you're hearing it as, let's say you hear this thought in your head, I'm getting sick. Well, if you come into agreement with that thought, you're going to get sick. It's very powerful. Our, we're not God, but our part, which is powerful, is to either agree with that or not agree. And the Lord spoke to me a couple of years ago. I've, I've made reference to this. I was struggling with my breath, and I have no history of any breathing issues at all. And I believe it was from wearing the mask. It made me very anxious. Anyway, the Lord spoke to my heart and he said, just don't say okay. Don't, don't come into agreement with this. And so every day I was trudging through, it was about a week, but each day I wouldn't say okay. And each day that I didn't agree with it, the anxiety about not knowing what it is reduced. And then like in a week it was gone. So our part is not to agree you know, how we set our mind, our attitude is so very critical. You know, God's going to be God, but our part is so critical also. We have to set our minds. We have to be steadfast and set our minds like flint. I am not agreeing with this sickness. The enemy will try to put all kinds of sickness, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, everything. And don't say, okay, don't resist. The Bible says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. So God bless you from the beautiful Mediterranean Sea in Israel.